Hi, Blockchain Visionaries. I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. In this video, I answer the question, what are stable coins? This video is based on a lesson from my best-selling cryptocurrency fundamentals course, where you can learn how to safely use, buy, sell, and even trade cryptocurrencies. Stay tuned. We will now discuss the concept of stable coins. And to begin, I'd like to start with a definition of a stable coin. A stable coin is a digital asset that is pegged to or backed by another asset. As such, it is designed to provide a stable value related to a different asset and in the process reduce market price volatility. Let me drill down on two concepts here. One of them is that the value of a stable coin is related to a different asset. And this is done to reduce market price volatility. As you will see, stable coins track the price of a different asset. And in the process, they aim to reduce the market price volatility that's within the cryptocurrency market. Let me explain further as I talk about different qualities of stable coins. The first one is that they're designed to avoid price volatility. What I mean by that is if, for example, if you have a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar, what that means is that that stable coin should have the value of the US dollar. If you buy $500 worth of a stable coin, you should be getting the equivalent of $500 of that stable coin. And regardless of whether the cryptocurrency market goes up or the cryptocurrency market goes down, the goal of that stable coin is to retain the value of that asset that it's pegged to. One thing I will say, though, is that stable coins enable you to move at the speed of cryptocurrency, not fiat. This is one of the primary reasons why stable coins exist. For instance, if you actually want to place a trade in a cryptocurrency exchange and you only have U.S. dollars, you have to wait to convert those U.S. dollars, that is fiat currency, into cryptocurrency. Well, if you have a stable coin, you do not have that step. You could simply spend or use those stable coins to do a trade from the stable coin onto the other cryptocurrency that you're trading into. As a result, you do not have that moment delay between taking your fiat currency and converting it into a cryptocurrency. Your stable coin actually holds the value that you're actually going to be trading from. Now, one key thing I will say is that these stable coins are also programmable, which dollars, for example, are not. What that means is that if you have a smart contract and you actually want to process payment to someone else, instead of actually processing that payment, say, in a cryptocurrency like Ether or in Bitcoin, which fluctuates and goes up and down, if you have a stable coin, you could process that payment that is pegged to the U.S. dollar. And what that means is that if you actually have to issue a payment of, say, $50, you could issue $50 worth of that US dollar pegged stablecoin as the payment. As a result, you're able to program into smart contracts the value of a stablecoin instead of actually having to worry about using a cryptocurrency that fluctuates in value up and down. Another key characteristic about stablecoins that you need to be aware of is that many of these stablecoins are actually regulated. And that means that there is a third party that actually has created and regulates these stablecoins. As a result, you do not have the type of flexibility and freedom that you have with an unregulated or decentralized cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, where you can basically just send Bitcoin to anybody else around the world. In the case of a stablecoin, there is usually a third party, and that third party has a hear and say of how that stablecoin is controlled. And in fact, you could actually forfeit all your stable coins if you do anything that in the eyes of the regulator of that stable coin goes against their interests. For example, if you actually have a stable coin that's actually pegged to the US dollar and it's controlled by a third party, they can actually stop and actually forfeit your stable coins and remove them from you because you're using the stable coin in something that it's not supposed to be used. Now, let me give you some popular stable coins. One of the more popular stable coins is Tether. And in fact, the brunt of stable coin movement at this moment happens in Tether. The symbol for Tether is USDT. And Tether has actually come under a lot of scrutiny from a lot of parties because they are not certain that every single unit of Tether is actually pegged to a US dollar. There's been a lot of back and forth in that space. And as a result, the price of Tether has fluctuated, sometimes down. And uh, this is something that makes Tether not necessarily the most 
truly stable of all the stablecoin choices. However, Tether is still a very valid stablecoin choice and it's available right now. You can see it at different uh, entities and you can see it at different cryptocurrency exchanges. Another option for a US dollar pegged stablecoin is USD coin. The symbol is USDC. And USD coin is actually a product of Circle. Circle actually has issued this USD coin and they've worked very, very closely with Coinbase. And this is actually a US dollar pegged stable coin. And what that means is that if you buy, say, a thousand dollars worth of USD coin, you have the equivalent of one thousand dollars in this stable coin and you can use it for trading into and out of different cryptocurrencies. Another very popular stable coin is Gemini dollar and the symbol is GUSD. Another one that's very, very popular is True USD. That's T U S D. All of these are choices of stable coins and these are pegged to the US dollar. There are other stable coins that are not necessarily pegged to the US dollar, and some of them are actually pegged to other types of currency, like, for example, the Chinese yuan. There are also stable coins that are backed by a different kind of asset, for example, an ounce of gold or a barrel of oil. One thing you need to understand about stable coins also is that because you actually have, say, $500 worth of a USD coin, for instance, or any other type of stable coin, you have $500 worth of that stable coin. But the price of stable coins does fluctuate. What that means is that it may go up or it may actually go down. There is no guarantee that you will actually get exactly that amount. And I'm making a generalization because some of these stable coins are much more regulated and more controlled than others. But whenever you invest in a stable coin, and that is what it is, you're investing in a stable coin, you do run the risk that goes with buying a different kind of asset, in this case, a stable coin. And like cryptocurrencies, the price may go down dramatically. So remember, before you actually put any of your investments into a stable coin, Pay attention and actually look at what you're getting into. And remember always that investing involves risk. So keep a sharp eye whenever you're actually using stable coins for any type of investment. I hope you found this video valuable and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, ask comments. I am George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. See you next time.